Hey everyone, welcome back to another Java short video. Today's topic is what causes memory leaks in Java. Here is the part one on this topic. Let's dive in. A memory leak happens when an application unintentionally retains objects that are no longer needed, preventing the JVM from freeing up that memory during garbage collection. As a result, memory usage grows, potentially leading to out of memory error. Now let's look at some common causes of memory leaks in Java. Whenever an object is referenced by a static field, it's tied to a class loader that essentially lives for the entire lifetime of the application. For example, here the cache is a static list of objects. And when we add an object to this cache, this object stays in the memory unless removed. So if this reference isn't cleared when no longer needed, the object sticks around unnecessarily. So the solution to this problem is that we always clean up or limit the size of the static collections. Another cause of memory leak is when an object registers itself as a listener or an observer, for example for events, but isn't explicitly unregistered, and it holds a reference that keeps in memory. For example, here a listener is added to the list of listeners of the button click, but later, even if the listener is no longer needed, it will stay in memory because it is added to the list of button click listeners. So to fix this, we should always remove the listeners or observers when they are no longer needed. Another cause of memory leak can be when the inner classes and anonymous classes implicitly hold a reference to their enclosing class. If the outer class is no longer required but the inner class is still in use, the outer class cannot be garbage collected. For example, inside the doWork method, we create an anonymous inner class as a runnable instance which holds implicit reference to the enclosing instance of the outer class. And later, even if outer class is no longer needed, this runnable instance is still referenced by the thread, preventing the outer class from being garbage collected. So to fix this, we should always use static nested classes or explicitly remove the reference to the outer class. And there are even more reasons for memory leaks. To know more, please refer part 2.